This whole face is drugstore. Keep passing. Oh, there you go, keep passing. Yeah. You wanna keep passing. Oh, there you go, keep passing. Hi cousins, it's Kemi, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, you guys know I am a drugstore queen. <laughs> Where is Kemi? She is in super drugs, she's in boots, buying makeup. I actually find really, really good pieces there. I absolutely love the drugstore, if you don't know. I feel like 8% of my makeup is from the drugstore. The super drugs and boots are so close to me that I'm always in there. <laughs> so I thought it would be great for me to show you guys the gems at the drugstore that I absolutely love. And obviously if you can save your coins and look really good, why not? Oh, pause. I want to see if I'm really predictable with the products I'm going to use in today's video. So go down in the comment section, comment what you think my favorite foundation, concealer, powder, and eyeshadow palette is. Don't cheat. I want to see if you guys can get it right. Okay, you done that? So let's jump straight into this video. Hello, how are we doing? I am excited to show you guys some gems. Gems in this video. There's the train. I swear to you, it's like people want to go out when I'm filming. When I'm filming, people want to go out. When I'm not filming, I don't hear no train. To be fair, it is a Friday night, so I'll leave them. All these products, I'm pretty sure have like made an appearance on my channel. Loki, they might be better than some of the high-end products, but I didn't say that. I didn't say that, you know. Okay, so what do I want to start with? I've got two primers from the drugstore that just works. Actually, I got three, but I'm gonna show you guys two. I literally just picked this one up last month. I absolutely love it. It's the Revolution Pro 24K Serum Primer, but the absolute OG is the Makeup Session All A Blur Primer. This, makeup looking flawless. That's what I'm gonna say. Your makeup is looking flawless. Like I said, I literally just got this last month, so obviously I haven't gone through it, but this bad boy, I got battles. <laughs> this is the one that I always gravitate to. I've literally been using this for, I think about a year or two. I'm gonna use both, I've never done that before. I'm gonna use both, just because I couldn't choose, but really and truly, if I wanna be honest, the makeup session or the blur does it for me. But this serum, <laughs> it's on a whole different level. Mm, once you start like massaging it in, it gets tacky. Ooh. This makes my skin look really, really radiant. My skin type changes throughout the year. This year it was really good. I have normal skin, so whatever primer I put on top will work. I'm not gonna person, if I put a matte primer on, best believe my face will be matte for the whole day, <laughs> okay? If I put a glowing primer on, my skin will be glowy for the whole day. But then sometimes, when I neglect my skincare, because you know, there's days that we do that, <laughs> don't like. That's why I tend to get like oily in my T-zone. That's why I say I'm normal skin to combination because sometimes it can get really dry during winter. This one honestly like just blurs out my pores and just makes it look flawless. I don't know how well these are gonna work together. I'm hoping this turns out good. Don't let me down. <laughs> if you are my true, true cousin, you will know that this setting spray was my ride or die for the longest time. I feel like for like two years straight. I got to a point, I had to try other products because every single video back to back had this setting spray in it. So this is the Vitamin E Hydrating Mist from Superdrugs. This is still popping, okay? If you have dry skin, this, after me, this is your best friend, okay? Ooh! Y'all see my skin? Skin is looking delicious. Look at just <laughs> Okay, you keep playing yourself. Right, so concealer, because you guys already know my new technique. I've got three concealers that are my absolute favorite. Should I use all three? Okay, okay, I'll just use two, okay? My top three concealers are the Makeup Obsession Conceal and Defined. You know it had to make it like this. Top quality. Next, the e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer as well. This, Chef Kiss. My new absolute favorite is the Excess Revolution Concealer. The color and the coverage on this and the applicator, absolute amazing. So I think I'm gonna use the e.l.f. and the Excess Revolution today. This has been good for many years now. So I'm gonna quickly go in with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camera Concealer. This is the satin finish. The 16 hours wear one, I love, but the new hydrating one, they're both amazing to be fair. I'm gonna go with the Morphe M335 brush and just quickly blend this up. I 
And now I'm gonna go in my beauty sponge and just blend out even further. The only thing about this shade is that it's not the right undertone for me, but I absolutely do love it. It's really yellow, so that's why I'm just gonna go in with the Excess Revolution Concealer in this shade 12.5, just to correct that up. And then go in and blend that out. Oh, what bag. Every single time I do this step, I always look crazy. Even I'm scared of me at this point. But you gotta trust the process, okay? You just gotta trust the process, cause yo, this is scary. Okay, so the foundation that is like doing it for me at the drugstore. Drum roll, please. Excess Revolution foundation, the do one. She's a bag. She is it, okay? Excess Revolution, this foundation. Did the thing. Well, you don't believe me. You, you don't be. Watch this. <sighs> Personally, I don't feel like it's fair that I use my two favorite and I didn't use my last one. So I'm gonna go with the Revolution Pro Concern the Fine Concealer in this shade 12.5 as well. I'm gonna use this one to highlight the rest of my face. You guys know that I like to go in and set my highlighted areas first before going to bake. My absolute favorite powder to do that is the Collection Press Powder in the shade Translucent. But as you guys can see, it's broken. And I also like the MUA, you know, Pro Base Powder in the shade 170. But my other favorite is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless powder in the shade 350 caramel for some reason i lost my old one so i just literally just picked up a new one recently let's go in and set that in place i'm going to be using this real technique brush i made a mistake i wanted to cream contour today and i'm gonna do it even though i added some powder it's fine my favorite product to cream contour with is the makeup session mega concealer in the shade 18. You guys have seen this on my channel so many times. I still freaking love it. I love this product so freaking much. I'm gonna be using this Real Technique 202 brush. This product right here is honestly one of my favorite things to like bronze up my skin with. It's just the right undertone and it just gets me right. I'm also gonna use a cream blush today. My top favorite from the drugstore is the MUA Blush Liquid Cream Blush. This is such a pretty shade, honestly. So freaking cute. I'm gonna grab this. This doesn't have a name. This brush doesn't have a name, but it's a stippling brush. I'm just gonna grab some of that, put it right here. Cause I've added powder, I don't, I don't wanna add too much. Cause I don't want the products to separate. I'm gonna use my fingers as well, just to blend as well. Had I not applied my powder beforehand, it would have been perfect, but I have to use my finger just to make sure that it doesn't separate, you know. It might look like you guys can't see it because it's really, really light and I didn't use that much in the way. Next is setting powder. You guys already know what I'm about to bring out. At this point, it's the family's favourite, okay? She don't need the intro. She don't need it because she is that girl. She is just that. The I Have Revolution Banana Setting Powder. She is a lovely babe. She loves us and she makes our makeup look real good. And we love her too. Before her, we were using the Pure Bake Banana Powder from Makeup Session. Absolute gem she is as well, but the I Have Revolution, she kicked her out. She honestly kicked her out. Like she was like, mm -mm, baby, I'm here to stay. This is my house now. Face powders and contour shades were one of the things that were really hard in the drugstore department for darker skin tone. But Makeup Revolution, they came. You guys remember the L'Oreal True Face powder, the deep golden one? This one, y'all remember her? It was her that we were stuck with for like the longest time. But then Makeup Session were like, what? We gotta come through for our chocolate sisters. And they did. They're really really did this cc perfecting press powder when i tell you i put down my mac studio fix powders for this baby she ain't a joke first of all just look at the difference she was a babe at the time like when we was using her because we had no other options but just look guys this is what i was using back in the day <sighs> 
suffering that is actually suffering <sighs> hard times she changed the game for me and i believe that this was not the darkest shade i believe that there was like a couple shades darker than this as well like come on to bronze and come to my skin will both be lying if i didn't include the glow bronzers from makeup revolution i feel like this was the best thing that ever happened in the justin department this and the face powders hands down these two shades they're dark and they're deep these two shades are just perfect for me but before this what i was doing was using the makeup addiction flame and love palette this looks really nasty but in the whole palette these are the three shades that i use that's how you know i love it and yes to this day even though i've got some like actual really good contour um products i still do this I'm just gonna add this as well, just because I love it as well. So, I'm gonna put it on my face. This is the shade Dark. Okay, for eyeshadow, I feel like Makeup Revolution is hands down one of the best to do it for the drugstore department when it comes to eyeshadow, period. In terms of pigmentation, design, and the price, they're up there. We cannot deny the facts. But, guys, there is this black-owned brand that, honestly, I was like, this palette is absolutely amazing. And I've had this palette for about a year. It's one of those palettes that gets you, like, it just gets you, okay? And I have to give it to the V Lace World palette. Oh, my God, look at this beauty. Just look at it. Everything you want and more is in this palette. I don't know what look I'm going to do. You guys are going to hate me because I want... A simple look today. I'm gonna have this plum shade right here. I'm gonna grab that on a flat shader brush and just tap that on my outer corners. You see what I mean? Because I didn't need to drill my eyes, this eye was kind of better than this eye. It's just one of those things. So next I am gonna grab these two shades as my transition color. I'm using this B Cosmetics Eye Blending Brush. I'm just gonna stamp it on just to like set the brow bone area. Before I mix it with this shade, but I'm now to grab these two shades right here. And then I'm just gonna use that to blend in between these two shades. I'm gonna go back into my plum shade and I'm using this Jess Up. 227 Luxe Soft Definer. Grabbing that plum shade and just lightly blending it upwards. I'm gonna do a cut crease and I'm gonna use the Makeup Revelation Concern Define Concealer again. Like so, and then doing my ring finger, you guys really know. Do you guys see like effortlessly those shadows like blend together? I'm gonna get back into the palette. I'm gonna grab this tan shade right here. And then let me add some shimmer as well, just to show you guys why it's really my favorite. By the way, I changed the shade to this shade. Favorite eyeliner and mascara of all time has to be the NYX Liquid Eyeliner and my collection Fast Straight Mascara. My new favorite day is the Seattle London Triple Shot XXL Mascara, but if you're talking Holy Grail, it's these two bad girls right here, okay? No wings today, just lining the top lash line. Okay, so because I've been waiting for a while now, I'm just gonna go in and dust off the excess powders off my face. Before I go in and add in my lashes, I am going to spray my face with two of my other favourite setting powders. The Makeup Obsession Fit Fix Extra Hold Fixing Spray. I've gone through so many bottles. I think this is a fresh one. This is a fresh bottle. Because I've gone through so many of these. This, I literally stuck these up. Blushes, you guys know that I just recently got into blush lately. The one that's been doing it for me is the Excess Revolution Blush. This orange blush, oh, amazing. Okay, so moving on to lips. You guys already know my favorite ride or die, like the only lip liner that I use, but Makeup Revolution wants to be freaking annoying and discontinue one of the best things they've done.
I might need to like email them, have some words with them because they need to bring it back. Some websites are selling it, but they are charging. But if you start asking me what's my favorite lip product, it would be the one pound lip glosses from the hair shop. If it was down to just picking one, it would be these bad boys. Literally during the lockdown, people were really selling these for 12 pounds, like three of these for 12 pounds online. But lucky for me, I stacked up. So I had like some to like get me through the lockdown period. But when the hair shop opened back up again, let's believe I went there and bought a lot. Should I do it a matte lip? Mm. I'm gonna show you guys a lip combo that works for me. The Makeup Revolution Sheer Brilliant Lip Gloss is getting up to this level, but this Kika Milano Hydra Lip Gloss in the shade 20. It is a bit of me. Oof. And then get a clear lip gloss. Grab a lip brush and just go in on top of that. Okay, so this is me done. This is what your cousin is looking like with a drugstore face. My favorite drugstore products are bangers. <laughs> So this is the end of this video. What do you guys think? Did you guess any of the products I was going to use in this video, right? Let me know. Am I that predictable? Let me know down below in the comment section and don't cheat. Don't cheat, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you end up liking this video. And subscribe down below if you haven't already. Join the family. We're all cousins over here. I love you guys so freaking much and inshallah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.